Manuel De, De Los Santos st- stood at the tee wearing typical golf attire, white ball cap, a vest, black polo, pair of khakis. But when he walks up to address his golf ball, there's something different about it. He's with the help of a pair of crutches. He tosses them away to the side of the tee box, and he stripes one down the center long and straight. Growing up in the Dominican Republic, De Los Santos played baseball, dreaming and planning to get to the majors like many of his countrymen. He was set to turn pro at the age of 18 in 2003 in baseball. That year, his life changed forever. He lost his leg in a motorcycle accident. And just like that, his lifelong dream of playing professional baseball was snatched away from him. Now, that is something that neither you or I can comprehend. No, not at all. You have a lifelong dream. You work. You you strive for for this type of, of career. And then in an instant, it's taken away from you. Yeah. Nothing has ever happened like that to me. Nothing has ever happened like no. that to you. So De Los Santos, who was crushed, obviously, his dreams crushed, moved to Paris and attempted to start his life anew with his wife, Alina. Uh, Paris opened the door for him, he said. There is where he saw The Legend of Bagger Vance. That's right. Fantastic movie. The Legend of Bagger Vance. By the way. Robert Redford's movie about a down-and-out golfer who recovers his game with the help of a mystical caddy. De Los Santos says the experience changed his life. That movie changed his life. Immediately, he found his way to a golf course, and he started hitting 2,000 balls a day using the grip he had previously used to crush baseballs. Friends witnessed uh, De Los Santos practicing out of a bunker, left for the day, and returned later to see the one-legged golfer still practicing his newfound craft and love out of the same bunker. I haven't hit 2,000 balls in my life. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not on a range. Not on a range oh, I haven't. Okay. No total, chance. Total. Total, total, total in a range. I've never hit 2,000 <laughs> balls. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, he, golf had become now his passion and become that next level thing for him in his recovery. Um, can you imagine, Mike, that feeling and then finding something? And, and I bet you can because golf does that to people. Golf has that way of leaking into your life yeah. and, and taking it over. Yeah, I mean, I can see how people, well, I mean, um, for obvious reasons, I see how people catch the bug, if you will, of golf, and then they just become, you know, completely obsessed with it. So, and especially if he was as uh, dedicated as he was to baseball, I'm sure that translated very well. Yeah, to, right. To yeah, exa- exactly right. And yeah. putting in the practice and the effort and yeah. the dedication. Yeah. Um, but he was looking for something to fill the void sure. yeah, that absolutely. baseball was no longer yeah. part of his part of his life. For sure. So uh, in, in a game that can take a lifetime to master, at the age of 25, De Los Santos found himself on, a, on King's Barn, which some call the Pebble Beach of Scotland, competing in an elite pro-am tournament. Now, you look to the scorecard, it would appear as if the Dominican had a decent round, shooting 76. But playing with only one leg, yeah. his score was phenomenal. Since his round in Scotland, De Los Santos has become a three handicapper. And he is by far the best three, handica- three handicapper in the world well, because yeah. he has one leg. For sure. Unlike uh, most amputee golfers, De Los Santos refuses to wear a prosthetic to balance out his weight. That is what is surprising to me. So think about that. Think yeah. about, I mean, we've got people, <laughs> a guy very close to us that falls, basically falls over every time he every swings. Every time he swings the club <laughs> with two legs. He's, he's got a bit of a weight transfer. I have, I have trouble staying, staying upright sometimes. So, so he, he refuses to wear a prosthetic. And to power the ball 300-plus yards down the fairway with just one leg, he has this powerful core and a rigorous exercise regimen that keeps him as strong as possible. Uh, the training has obviously paid off for him. But here, Mike, stick is the real kicker. Okay. He does not use a golf cart. <laughs> Shut up. I swear. <laughs> That's incredible. He says he uses his crutches. He doesn't wow. use a golf cart. And he says, I'm an athlete. I walk. <laughs> so there you go. I, if that doesn't get you excited I and mean, get you into a, into yeah. a, hey, I can do anything. And start sure. and stop complaining about your own game yeah. and your own effort. Yeah. This guy has one leg and is a three handicap and yeah. put in the work, put in the time and doesn't let his disability and his handicap affect him and affect his love for golf. And we've talked a lot about the healing power of golf. Yeah. We've had guests on here um, from the Veterans Association. We've had guests on here that have had uh, to overcome something in their life. It is no shock and no surprise that golf can heal somebody, if not physically, 
he, they can heal them mentally and or spiritually. And I'm sure yep. this is a spiritual adventure for De Los Santos. I agree.